Hi all. I am going to explain how to ignore JavaScript function on Chrome using Rubyshop. Simply we can say how to inject JavaScript functions into the Rubyshop browser using into the Chrome browser using Rubyshop. So here first we create simple business object called test JavaScript with Chrome. Then give simple description test JavaScript functions and fragment with Chrome. Finish. Okay, we already created our business object. Then I rename this action one page as invoke JavaScript functions. Alert pop up. Okay. First, we have to create application model. For that, use define new application model. Then select browser based application from. Then browser that launch from executable file. Then we have to select exe file from from browser folder. Then we have to give the URL. Okay. Now we create application module. Then we launch. We need to install login page element. We launch browser. Then we click on spy element. We spy element and remove unnecessary attribute. Then apply okay so after that i will use first navigate stage to navigate the application to, to launch the application second navigate stage i use to insert the javascript fragment into the browser for that I use data items, open data items, then select data type as text, click on initial value, select JavaScript mode, then copy okay, simple JavaScript here. Okay. Now we can assign that data item to this fragment as a fragment input. So then we need to execute the, that inserted JavaScript function. So that for that we use another navigate function and also again I use another data items to pass to keep the javascript parameters which is need to be this hello functions we should include parameters as name value name and value pair name is the attribute name and word is the value so this should 
रेंज ऐसे केस है फॉर्मेट तीन आई यूज टू एक्सिक्यूट द डेट जावस की फंक्शन फॉर डेट इस इन्वर्ट जावस की फंक्शन तीन आई गिव फंक फंक्शन नेम इस से हेलो एंड आर्गुमेंट्स एस डेटा टू पैरामीटर्स वैल्यू तीन आई कनेक्ट ऑल दिस डेटास एंड से डेवलपमेंट्स We close this browser. Now we can yeah, we need to add wait this stage because browser is executing very fast therefore we include base stage here Then connect with this stage and save changes. Now let's run again. You will see here. The hello world, hello world pop-up is appear top of the browser. So again, I will run on debug mode. First, we keep breakpoint here. Then start run. First, navigate the page. Then we have to wait five seconds. Then we insert the JavaScript element functions here. Then we execute the JavaScript functions on navigate tree stage. Then we can see hello world code here. Okay, so then. I will show the second scenario how to invoke how to click button with the JavaScript using groups. For that again I create another new page and name it as invoke JavaScript function click Okay. So when I copy this launch stage, I get this stage. And also wait and get this stage. Okay. Then I will use another navigate state to inject. Otherwise, insert JavaScript code to Chrome code to 
inject JavaScript code to um, JavaScript function to Chrome browser. For that, again, I add another data item and select text data type and open initial shell text box then select javascript mode then i use another simple javascript function called click button so i will add that data item to this insert javascript fragment input data tree okay so again i add another data item to keep parameters for that javascript functions function again i will pass json type parents attributes key value pair key is the id the id and value is the button button one means is submit button element id I close this browser so I copy this parameters and paste here then again I get another navigate stage to execute the, that JavaScript function so here we use invert javascript function and we can give javascript name as click button and we can pass arguments as data for data item sorry then link all the status then save developments then on this great point from the page you will see just click the login button to the javascript and it navigate to another page so again i will run that script and debug mode and find launch the browser in wait half second then insert this javascript function into the chrome browser then from here execute the, that javascript function by giving function name as click button argument set as data for value data for value means id the button one as a id then we see it is already navigated okay we see here submit button 
can inject JavaScript value. Then here execute JavaScript value means pick the submit button. You see already click that button. So here we just only need spy somewhere on the JavaScript execution page as a element. So then we can execute all the JavaScript on that page.